Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center row fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC is uh, 1176 uh, square units and its uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 56 uh, units. And furthermore, uh, these points uh, D, E and F uh, are the points of tangency. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, ADE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a, a half times uh, base times height. And in our case, the base uh, of this triangle uh, is uh, 56. This is uh, our base. And let's assume that uh, this AC is the height uh, of this uh, triangle. And the area of this triangle ABC has been given to us uh, as 1176. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So the area of the triangle is 1176 equals to 1 divided by 2 times our base uh, is 56 times our height uh, is H. Now we are going to solve for H. So we got 1176. 6 uh, equals to 28 uh, times uh, h. Let's divide both sides by 28 to isolate h. So therefore our height uh, h value turns out to be 42 units. So thus our this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 42 units. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets uh, 3, 4 and 5. And if I multiply all these uh, numbers uh, by 14 uh, across the board, then our new sets of Pythagorean triplets are going to become 3 times 14, 4 times 14 is 56, and finally 5 times 14 is 70. And since uh, 42 and 56 uh, are taken, so therefore our this uh, side AC has got to be 70 units and by the way you may use uh, the Pythagorean theorem to figure out uh, this uh, third side of this uh, triangle and now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn uh, to one circle from the same uh, external points then they are uh, congruent as you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram here we got uh, a and b are the points of uh, tangency so therefore this segment uh, OA is going to be equal to this segment uh, OB. So therefore we conclude uh, that this uh, segment uh, EB is going to be equal to this segment uh, BF. Let me go ahead and label uh, this EB length uh, as the lowercase a. Then uh, BF length has got to be lowercase a as well. Now let's make an observation. We know that this whole uh, BC length uh, is uh, 56 and this uh, BF length uh, is lowercase a. So therefore uh, this uh, FC length uh, has got to be 56 uh, minus uh, a. And likewise let's focus uh, on this uh, side AB which is uh, 42 and we know our EB length is a so therefore our this uh, ae length has got to be 42 minus uh, a and now let's recall once again the two tangents theorem according to this theorem uh, this segment uh, ae is going to be equal to this segment uh, ad if this segment is 42 minus a then this segment has got to be 42 minus a as well and likewise, according to this theorem, uh, this uh, segment uh, FC is going to be equal to this segment uh, CD. If this segment is 56 uh, minus A, then this uh, CD segment is going to be 56 minus A as well. 
And now let's make an observation. We can see this the whole uh, side length uh, AC is going to be equal to the sum of these two individual side lengths uh, AD and uh, DC as you can see in this uh, given equation. And we know our AC length uh, is uh, 70. Our AD length uh, is uh, 42 minus A. And finally our uh, DC length uh, is 56 uh, minus A. Therefore I can fill in the blanks. So 70 equal to 42 minus A plus 56 uh, minus A. Let's combine the like terms. 70 equals to 98 uh, minus uh, 2A. Let me go ahead and move this uh, 70 to the right hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this uh, 2A on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore 2A turns out to be 28. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate A. This 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore our A value turns out to be 14 units. So thus our A value turns out to be 14 and likewise this A value is 14 as well. And uh, likewise uh, in this uh, 42 minus A, let's substitute A value as 14. So this is going to give us 42 minus 14 is going to give us uh, 28. And likewise uh, this other side uh, AD is going to be, if we substitute A value as 14, that is going to give us uh, 28. And likewise, if we substitute a value as 14 over here, that is going to give us uh, 42. And likewise, this side is going to be 42 units uh, as well. So thus we conclude that this uh, AE length uh, is uh, 28. And likewise, this AD length uh, is uh, 28 uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let me label uh, this angle uh, BAC as our angle uh, theta. And now let's recall the so Cartois and we are interested in uh, sine of theta equals to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. And in our case, uh, our opposite side is uh, 56 units and our hypotenuse is 70. So therefore our sine of uh, theta is going to be equal to 56 uh, divided by 70. And now this could be reduced by dividing both uh, top and bottom by 14. That could be written as uh, 4 divided by 5. So therefore uh, sine of theta is going to become 4 divided by 5. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, ADE. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle ADE. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times A times B times sine of angle C. As you can see in this uh, diagram, here we got uh, these two side lengths uh, A and B and C is the angle uh, in between. And here in our this uh, yellow triangle uh, ADE, our two side lengths are uh, 28 uh, and uh, 28 and theta is the angle between them. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we can write down 1 divided by 2 times our side length uh, 28. The other side length uh, is uh, 28 uh, times sine of uh, angle uh, theta. And we know our sine of uh, theta is 4 divided by 5. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, sine of theta by 4 divided by 5. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, sine of theta by 4 divided by 5 over here. And if I simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us 313.6 uh, uh, square uh, units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow triangle ADE turns out to be 313.6 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.